Well, ladies and gentlemen, another one in the loss column. Now, is this a moral victory for us right now, or is it just another failed attempt to go ahead and claim moral victory for a game that probably could have, should have, would have won for not some dumb play calls by Cliff Kingsbury and his timeouts that he's calling. Now, some might say it's the defense not holding their own. Some might say, why is the offense taking way too long to go ahead and start their offensive going when they had such an explosion on their first drive and getting a touchdown with newly acquired running back Kenyon Drake? We're going to go ahead and dive into every single one of those topics, guys. Let's go ahead and hit that intro. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with yet another video of the Arizona Sports Fan. Now, as we sit here right now, we have lost to the San Francisco 49ers. Um, let that sinking sink in a little bit. We have swept the 49ers for the past two years and this happens now granted they are a great team their record shows that they are an improved team. Well, we are pretty much Back to square one as we were last year. Now, we do have a more explosive offense, some might say, with the secret weapons that, or secret play calls that Cliff Kingsbury is going ahead and actually calling. But some might say that Cliff Kingsbury is the root of this problem that's been going on with his absurd timeout calls that he's been uh, doing. Now, guys, I want to go ahead and take a moment to say Cliff Kingsbury have faith in your defense. Now, I don't exactly know the philosophy to why you called a timeout when there is four to five seconds left on the play clock and the 49ers are trying to run it down your throat. Now, to my surprise, the Cardinals stop them. Now, to my dismay, I was super excited. I was so happy until I looked back on the screen and I figured out that Cliff Kingsbury called the time out. And with that, the next play, we had Sanders coming on a quick flat and caught a touchdown. My goodness, a momentum kill straight through the heart, 21 to 7. Now, the Cardinals started off strong with a touchdown run by Kenyon Drake. Now, let me tell you this right now, guys. Kenyon Drake was an awesome acquisition. And for what we got for him, kudos. I'm saying kudos to the front office of the Arizona Cardinals. It might not have been Steve Kime. I'm not giving Steve Kime kudos. He might have been the one doing it. But no, I'm saying for the front office of Arizona Cardinals, good job, guys, making that actual uh, transaction. We really needed him, especially with Chase Edmonds down and David Johnson down. It's kind of like we didn't really skip a beat. He had such a great game. Definitely want to give kudos to him. One other thing that I actually um, saw, um, there was one thing that kind of made me upset. Now, we all are, you know, on the hype train of Kyler Murray, but he's still making really questionable decisions, like getting sacked for 19 yards. Um, can you not throw the ball away, man? Like, I don't understand. Like, I get you're trying to do too much. I think that's what's happening in your head right now. You feel like you can outrun every single person and their mother on their field. But sometimes you gotta, you have to know when to give up plays. And, you know, as soon as we looked up, it was third and 29. You can't really convert that guy. Let me be the first to tell you right now. Sometimes you just gotta throw that ball away and live to fight another day. And we get burned by the tight end again. George Kittle. I mean... <laughs> Do we just not learn? I mean, I I get Kittle is great, but do we just not learn? Vance Joseph fix this. Now, I also want to mention the fact that somebody's light bulb finally came on and figured out that, hey, Andy Isabella can run really fast, right? Let's put him on a route and see if he can take the top off on somebody. And what does he do? He, he goes for an 88-yard catch. 
Kyler Murray to Andy Isabella. Didn't I not say in our preview that we need to get this guy going? And he has, I just, I don't understand it. I don't get it. We just need to give an opportunity to this fella and make sure that he can basically run the top off any, like any defense at this point. This guy is quick. And to, to show what he did, I hope this gives momentum to Kyler Murray. I hope it gives momentum to Cliff Kingsbury to put this guy in the field and just give him a chance, man. Give him an opportunity to do something. Now, we had this game kind of ish not really but we had an opportunity to catch up now it was up to our defense to hold strong and what does our defense do our defense allows two that's right i said it one two third and long conversions they even converted a third and nine which was really kind of I honestly thought they were going to run that timeout, at least run it one more time, punt it back to us. No, but what they did is they threw it and they said, we can run this. We can convert this. That is so disrespectful, but they did it. And what I'm, I mean, there's nothing really you can say. You let two, like I mentioned before, two third and long plays, guys. And that's something you guys should really, really not go to sleep on. This is really, really sad. And have I not mentioned where is the P2 effect? Where Where is the Patrick Peterson effect right now? That guy got burnt plenty of times. Um, Patrick Peterson, I really do hope it's because you had six-game suspension that you're not quite in football condition yet. But you really, really, really got to kind of got to get better with those slants, those quick plays that you can't really keep up with receivers. Yeah, you got to get a little better with that, buddy. Let me just let you know that right now. But other than that, guys, those are the big things that I actually saw for today's game. Let me know what you guys liked about this game. What, tell me what you didn't like about this game. Drop a like. Drop a comment. If you're do new, it. go ahead and subscribe to the channel, guys. Let's Just go ahead and get it. do it.